Well, somebody's uh, ticked off today, um, and it's uh, not me, actually, for a change. It is Sarah and Chris Ingham, and they are on yet another rant. They like their rants. In fact, one of the most favourite things about the Inghams are their, um, their special rants that they like to produce and this one is no exception this is absolutely special um, I'm going to do a simple reaction video to their their video their original video was about 22 minutes long so there or thereabouts I've tried to condense it as much as I can so I've cut little bits out of it but for the most part it's all there so Please bear with me, it's a long one, but necessary because um, they like to say to their 1.2 million followers uh, what they like and put their their viewpoint across, but um, unfortunately it's not always true. Um, today we get to pull it apart, so I hope you enjoy. Some of you may already know this, but we have been the victims of some of the most severe, disgusting hate online for Bullying. a long time, a long time now, um, to the point where it's just absolutely blows your mind, the kind of stuff that people say about you online, completely untrue, disgusting, defamatory, malicious, horrible things. Firstly, I'd like to interject and say that um, a lot of these things are not untrue. Um, some may be defamatory. I personally have not been party to anything that's been untrue said about you, Chris. Um, everything that I say is backed up by facts. I don't make anything up. I don't say anything defamatory. Nobody has called you well, I personally haven't called you um, anything that um, has not been proven to be true. Um, and secondly, your your own friends have been party to exactly the same thing that you're accusing other people of. So please pass that message on to them also. And. Um... We just absolutely no care or consequence for, for the, the person, people that they hurt, for the person, the for family, the family, the for children. the children, for, for any of it, for the, for the damage that people's words online can do. Did you consider the consequences of your own actions when you messaged those young fans back in the day? Did you give any consideration to their feelings? any consideration to their well-being, any consideration to their mental health, any consideration to their families, and any consideration to anybody, including your own children, when you did that. It's got so serious now that we've had to recently involve the police, um, who are now dealing with the people that are doing this most severely and frequently of which a number of suspects have already been dealt with by the police and are now facing court action now i can't speak for everybody concerned um because obviously i don't know everybody and what everybody's been up to but um i can speak for a certain few which i i'm sure this is um mainly aimed at and from my own perspective, I can confirm that I've never had any contact with the police. No police have contacted me regarding this matter. Um, I certainly have not been dealt with by the courts. I've never been to court uh, regarding this. And I can confirm that the same can be said for a number of other people who I'm sure you're referring to. Um, the Reelinghams have never had any court case against them. They have never been contacted by the police regarding this. A number of other people who you are referring to here have not had any action 
have not been contacted by the police despite the numerous threats to the contrary which is um, an offence by yourself Chris um, and your friends who have threatened various people with police action um, you I know for a fact that nobody not one of these people have had any action taken against them absolutely 100% fact to what you're saying is absolutely 100% BS um, telling your IFAM lies yet again to make yourself the victim yet again uh, isn't it about time that you finally told the truth and you finally told your your fans exactly what happened and exactly what's going on behind the scenes because a lot of them don't know and a lot of them are being told by you exactly what you want them to know but not being told the exact truth some of your friends egged on by yourself have been party to some of the most malicious communications that I've seen online and that is the truth isn't it Chris because of pending court action against these individuals we aren't able to talk about this any further than that other than just to say that it is happening and just to say the abuse online that we as a family myself our company receives daily is being dealt with sorry I don't believe you as 100% BS again as you know no matter how anonymous you might think you are with your fake accounts fake names none of you are untraceable and in fact you're very much not anonymous Chris I've never um, proclaimed to to want complete anonymity when it comes to campaigning against yourself um, I've always stood by everything that I've said I've never stood behind fake accounts I may be behind as you would probably say a, a cartoon raccoon but I am myself and I've always stood by every single word that I've said and everything that I've done nothing I've said is defamatory or untrue or anything I have no problem with you coming to try and track me down with regards to anything you perceive as being illegal because nothing that I've personally said has been untrue at all it only takes one email one tweet to a person, to a company, to a brand, to an organisation to be classed as malicious communications just one instance for that absolutely true Chris, absolutely true um, however the term malicious communications the clue is in the name it has to be malicious, it has to be with intended to cause harm and it has to be untrue uh, contacting a company uh, to tell them of things that you have done or just tweeting them a picture or a a news article which has been in the newspapers that's not malicious communications that's just telling them what's happened and making them aware of what's happened and that's a crime and it carries a jail term just one occasion one message one tweet one email designed to be malicious towards that company or individual oh dear Chris I, ne I nearly spat my coffee out then honestly um, so you're admitting that what you what you have been doing has been a criminal activity and could carry a jail term what you're suggesting here is what you have been particularly guilty of doing and it's I know for probably 
certain that you have been behind some of the most vile troll accounts yourself. Some of the most hideous things, some of the most horrible, vile, disgusting things that have been said online and have come either directly from yourself or directed from somebody else, directed from you. And you're saying that that could carry a jail term. Well, I'll see you there then. That's a crime. It's so sad that the internet is so full of negativity nowadays and full of people who just thrive on drama and negativity and the saddest thing of all causing hurt and damage to others. It's crazy that people would much rather watch a video about some big scandal or some big drama ripping someone's life apart than watching something carefree and happy and positive. I'd love to watch something carefree and happy and positive, Sarah. I really, really would. However, what your husband has done was disgusting and should be addressed. Has he addressed it? No. Why hasn't he addressed it? Ask him that. Why don't you talk to him? Why are you telling us? We know what he's done. He knows what he's done. You know what he's done which is disgusting in itself i get that things should be dealt with behind closed doors i doubt that you have dealt with it though that's the thing it's all about the money and what you can get out of this youtube fame lifestyle that you've got going if chris hadn't been caught sexually messaging young girls and when i say young i mean 16 plus they were but the youngest was barely 16 i think she just turned 16 which makes her very very close to the border but again i'm not calling you anything chris i'm, I'm not mentioning even the word which you are afraid of because i'm not like that however your friends are like that and that's disgusting that you could be friends with people like that. So, if you could just apologise, please, that would be great. I would much appreciate it. Everybody else would appreciate it and we can move on. You could have saved yourself a lot of heartache. And you're sat here blaming, once again, blaming everybody, blaming the internet for what you have done, Chris. And that's not right. It's like one huge game of Chinese whispers. One person says one thing, it gets twisted by another person, twisted again by another hundred people, another thousand people, and turned into something that it never was in the first place. And then before you know it, a person, an individual, a family, a brand, a company, are being destroyed by an army of people online that thrive on negativity for something they never did, or a situation that never was in the first place. Okay, Chris, now what you're saying is that it's a game of Chinese whispers and that somebody somewhere down the line has managed to blow this completely out of proportion and something that never was has become something major. Basically, that's your defense. So what I can say to you now, I can clear all this up for everybody. Now, I'm not the front line or the front speaker or anything but what i do have is access to the people involved from the the start so i can speak to and have spoken to on a regular basis people who are directly involved so this is not chinese whispers this is not coming from a fourth, fifth, sixth, one hundredth source. This is coming directly from source. So if everybody would sit back and listen for two minutes, I will explain to you exactly what's happened. On the 2nd of July 2018, an allegation surfaced from uh, a 16 year old 
called Jess and she claimed that Chris Ingham had messaged her in a sexual inappropriate way over a period of months and tried to get her to meet up after hours you're talking like two o'clock in the morning um, in a strange country um, in Florida at Disney and tr tried to get her to go skinny dipping on a number of occasions this happened Chris I've seen the evidence I've spoken to the people involved there is absolutely no doubt in my mind whatsoever 110% that you did do this and this did happen that is not being passed down to me I've not just watched YouTube videos on this I've not just watched uh, YouTubers talking about it I've spoken to the people involved and I know what has happened directly so Chris that is the truth please change the record please apologize Jess at least deserves an apology an apology from you if nothing else we aren't robots we're not some sort of superhumans that don't have feelings we're exactly the same as every single one of you guys that are watching this video right now and how would you feel if every single day everything you did was literally being ripped to shreds and not even just things you do the way you look the way your children look the way you behave the way your children behave what you eat for your lunch what you eat for dinner what you wear literally every single aspect of your life is ripped to a million pieces right Sarah I'm gonna stop you right there um, yes I agree with you I actually agree with you and not for the reasons that you suspect though but because your friends your actual friends I'm not gonna name the names of, of them because not because it's not fair on them because they did absolutely deserve everything they get but these friends of yours have ripped people to shreds exactly what you're saying is horrible and everything your friends have sat there online every single day and said some of the most disgusting things about human beings that you could ever imagine and you've okayed it you have actually okayed it that is unbelievable in fact I'm gonna stick a clip in here now showing exactly what you think of the the exact same statement that you've just made just now here you can see a screenshot of where Sarah Ingham has commented under one of the most vilest trolls that they have on their side at the moment who have said some very very disgusting things and Sarah Ingham has commented that she is awesome and don't even start with the absolute BS of well you put yourself out there alone so you should expect to be ripped apart or you should expect people to have opinion no these are not opinions these are bullies you people that are doing this are bullying a family it doesn't matter what you do for a living nobody deserves to be bullied it's wrong and it's absolutely disgusting it is disgusting Sarah you're absolutely right but that doesn't explain to me how you can condone what your friends are doing what your friends have been doing for months and months and months and months the things that your friends have said 
the things that you have said, the things that you have written online, they are bullying. We have evidence of this. It's nothing new. So why are you sat there saying that everybody should be ashamed of themselves or whatever? And you've done the exact same thing that you're accusing everybody else of doing. Doesn't make sense to me, Sarah. This is not something that's aimed at our loyal supporters, our loyal iFam that watches, lovers, supporters regardless every single day. This is not at all aimed at you guys. And we are so, so grateful for every single one of you that watch our videos and support us every single day. We cannot thank you enough for that. For enriching and inspiring our own lives in ways that you guys could never ever imagine. Now on that point, I would like to address any iFam, should you be watching, Please, 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 please be careful. Please be careful about who you're, you're messaging online. Even if it's your favorite YouTuber, even if it's your favorite Ingham family member, you don't know who they are in real life. Just be careful. Do not privately message any adult just don't and just be careful in general and now down to the main point of this video there has been a lot of negativity and complete and utter rubbish all over online recently about our baby reborn jstol it's been in the newspapers it's been on tv it's, it's been all over online like seriously guys this must be the slowest news week in the world for journalists to be calling us up asking for comment on our baby reborn j Stoll. has it been on tv i haven't seen anything on tv about this i would suggest yes it must be a very slow news week but it is still newsworthy famous you like to call yourself famous famous youtubers clone their baby into a doll perfect headline i would say that would be uh, something that people would like to report on um i would however suggest that you change your your title of your vlog um, you've actually stated that you do sell your baby. You need to change it to a question mark, Chris, a question mark, otherwise it becomes a statement. So back in 2016, Esme, our 10 year old daughter, received a baby reborn doll for Christmas. Now for those of you that don't know what baby reborn dolls are, a baby reborn doll is a high end quality doll made to look like a real baby also known as Chucky dolls. They may be high-end, high-end in terms of cost, yes, um, but I really, 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 and I cannot stress this enough, I really would not like one of these dolls in my bedroom. They would freak me the hell out. But each to their own, obviously, there are, the, there are a, a place for them, but they would freak me out, honestly. Be. They're incredible. These dolls are often bought by ladies who have sadly suffered a miscarriage or cannot have children and they bring these ladies a massive amount of comfort, which is an amazing thing. Sarah, have you done your research on this or are you just being told what Mary Shorten have told you? Have you ever looked into it? Yes, I, I know that these dolls are sold to to bereaved mothers and yes i agree with you that they could and probably do bring some comfort however it's not proven yet whether or not they do and some psychologists say that it could actually do a lot more harm than good in the long run but what you're being told and what you're telling people is only one part of the story yet again. We became very good friends with the owners of the Mary Shortle shop in Leeds and York. Mary Shortle is one of the UK leaders in manufacturing and distributing baby reborn dolls. 
a subjective comment, very debatable, and something which will be coming to light very shortly. So watch this space. So many of you guys love Baby Reborn dolls. In fact, if you ever get the chance to visit Mary Shortle in Leeds, her entire shop is kitted out with amazing iFan stuff everywhere. Like a shrine, in fact, dedicated to the Inghams. It is not a mimic or a copy or a mold of our baby boy, Jace. <laughs> it's not his face. It's not a mold of his body. It's not a mold of his hands. It's not a mold of his head. It's not even. Nothing. No. I really didn't think it was a mold, to be honest with you. I never said it was. I haven't heard anybody else say it was. So I'm not quite sure where they're getting the mold aspect from. It's just a baby reborn doll that we have got and we've teamed up with Mary Shortle to represent the Jace. birth of our baby boy, Jace. So it's not a copy, it's not a replica, it's a representation, okay. When Jace was two weeks old, we went into Mary Shortle, as, as we just said, they've become really good friends of ours. We went in there to welcome Jace to her and show the baby off, etc, etc. Obviously our girls love the shop, so they had a good look around. And this baby reborn that we've got right here has been hand painted to represent what Jace looked like at the first time we took him. So it is a copy. It is what Jace looks like. At two weeks old, it was what he looked like at two weeks old. Is that right? To Mary Shortle. So it's a representation of what he looked like at two weeks old. But that does not mean that it has been a mold of him or a replica of him or a carbon copy of it no of him or anything been done. like that. No molding. It's just a standard baby reborn that has been hand painted beautifully in the Mary Shortle shop to represent what Jace looked like at two weeks old as in it has fine blonde hair painted because Jace had fine and still has fine blonde hair and the little eyebrows the eyelashes have all been done to represent what Jace looks like if you take off the onesie you will see that this is not a mold of Jace's body this they're really pushing out the it wasn't molded angle Obviously it wasn't a mould. I didn't think his body was moulded. There's no moulding of him. Nothing like that. And that is where so many people right now are twisting this whole thing and turning it into a negative, which it completely is not. We're not selling our son. Yes, Sarah, we get it. You're not selling your son. In the physical sense. What you're doing is selling your son as a baby reborn doll even if what you're saying is true and that you're not or it's not a exact copy an exact replica you're still selling him that doll as your son you're selling him as Jace Ingham Jace River Ingham according to the website but that in itself is bad enough you're selling your son's name for profit. I'm not quite sure how you, you come back from that. We're selling, we've teamed up with Mary Shortle to sell a baby that represents the birth of our son. It's completely different. At this point, I think Sarah's lost herself. She's not quite sure what she's talking about. She's gone round in so many different circles that it's hard for even herself to fun with our own train of thought and actually not much different to when i was a young girl eight or nine years old and i wanted to go out and my mum buy me the latest spice girl doll because i loved the spice girls and i wanted a doll that i could take home and play with this is no different i honestly can't believe you've made that comparison sarah comparing your baby your own little baby boy be made into a doll comparing that to the Spice Girls the Spice Girls were grown adults who were able to make business decisions who were able to decide 
whether or not they want it to be put in out on the market as a doll they were capable of making that decision your baby is not there's absolutely no comparison there this is a doll that represents Jace that our fans, our followers, the people that love us have the opportunity to purchase if they want to and take home. It's no different. Also, not that it's anybody else's business, but any profit we make from the sales of this baby Jace doll goes into Jace's fund that we set up for him before he was even born and it will be there for him when he turns 18 in the same way that we have for the three girls. and. That's no one's business what we do with our money, but I am just going to put that out there because it's so frustrating and so irritating. I understand, completely understand. However, you have lied so many times before. It's very hard to grasp what is a reality anymore. Have you put the money into a Jace saving account? Have you put the money into savings accounts for Esme? Have you put money into saving accounts for Isla and for Isabel? Who knows? You said that the money from the iFam Extras channel would be going to Isla and Esme, and yet you've thrown that channel by, by the wayside. Is that not important enough for you? Why aren't you pushing that channel out? Is it because it's not making enough money for you personally? Do your girls not deserve something out of all the effort that they go to? And I also want to add on this part that our children are made to do nothing, ever. We never, ever, ever force our children to do anything. When we film something, we ask them, is it okay to film this? And then when it's filmed, we'll say, can we use that for YouTube? Or should it be saved for our own memories? Nine times out of 10, the girls will say, put it on YouTube. And if by chance they do say, can we just keep that for our own memories? It's kept for our own memories. But most of the time, and this is really, really, really important. Most of the time, the girls come over to us and say, can I have a camera? There's something I really want to vlog. Right, okay. This is where parenting comes in, Sarah. The children may want to vlog something. This is all they've known for the last few years. This is all Isla has known for most of her, her life, is vlogging, cameras, cameras around them all the time, cameras in their face every single day, every waking moment of the day. This is what they know. When it comes to parenting, this is what you need, where you need to step in you need to know what is best for your children you need to do what's best for them if they come to you and say i want this in a vlog and they're half naked in a bathroom you say no this is not going in a vlog this is not appropriate for the internet to be seeing you don't say okay well yeah okay but you know okay this is what if that's what you want to do let's put that up there you say no you put your foot down and say no it is out there once it's out there it is out there for the internet it is out there for the world to say the children do not know the consequences of their actions they do not know the consequences of them putting their lives out there you you as parents as adults do know the consequences but you're not telling them that you're saying it's all unicorns and rainbows but it's not far from the truth it's not even funny this is a very positive venture that we're doing that with we're proud of. that we're very proud of that we're doing with a business that we are very very proud to be associated with and positive for whom Chris positive for your bank balance that's the only thing I cannot see anybody that would want to to have a replica of their own baby and sell it for profit I can't understand that you you can twist it all you like but it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever sick of replying to messages and comments saying have you seen this is this true and trying to explain myself over and over and over and over again about blooming everything we do in our lives constantly trying to justify why i had a burger for my tea last night i want a burger for my tea i'll have a burger for my tea you continue to chat about my weight i don't mind